As the school year comes to a close, one major thing to consider is the idea of closure. What is closure, and what does it mean to have it? I decided to convene with my friends for the answer. From the Humility episode, Rishi Verma. So Rishi, uh, what is closure? Uh, I think that closure is just um, a way of giving some sense of finality uh, to, I guess, a relationship. And um, if there's someone that you've kind of have a strong relationship with and that you've um, talked to a lot, it's weird knowing that like any time could be like your, I guess, last time seeing them, especially as I guess in my case, I'm graduating and moving um, and all that. So closure just uh, is a way to kind of reconnect with someone and I guess reflect on kind of where the relationship has gone and uh, what that means to each person and give that, that, I guess, sense of finality before um, people end up going on their separate paths in life. From the introversion episode, James Zinbauer. So James, what is closure? Uh, I mean, it's a pretty simple concept. It's just like for your own peace of mind, just kind of having a final word or sealing something off that was kind of left ambiguous or unop or uh, just like kind of open um, and mainly just so you and the other person feel good about the way you leave things or it can be with other things as well but the most common use of closure is with like someone else i i would say with like closure usually the the stuff that's left unopened for me or not unopened but open without being closed like with people i've liked and kind of acted weird towards and i feel bad about that closure for me is like getting like like talking to them and say hey uh sorry about that um i hope you're doing well i mean it closure is not to open it back up so you don't really like invite them to keep talking but it's mainly just like a final word or something I, I, I did that at the beginning of senior year because I was like, man, uh, I'm this senior year. I should probably say some words to the people um, who we've, I've not necessarily had great interactions with. And I did. How did that feel? Good. I mean, that's a simple way to put it, but it's like, you don't realize it's kind of been like weighing on you a little bit. Like it's always in the back of your mind somewhere. And then once you like bring it to the forefront and you're like, oh, hey, uh, sorry about that. I hope you're doing well. Bye. Once <laughs> once you have like an interaction like that where you kind of like acknowledge it, it's just sort of like kind of just leaves. But you also have to like be careful when you're doing closure that you don't try and reopen it because it's like not an invitation for a fresh start. It's it's like a it's like a final period in your guys's history. So if you're doing like if you're having closure with someone you probably are not going to have a whole lot of future interactions and you can't like begin the closure process thinking that oh hey i'm just gonna rekindle this or i'm just i'm gonna get it back um i'm gonna like this person or i'm gonna like end up dating her because i've changed that's not what closure is so it is really just about putting the final little sentence you know from the confidence episode jake isaacson so what is closure um, closure to me is something that humans like to feel when something gets done. Like it could be a sentiment of accomplishment when you accomplish something that was super important to you, you worked hard for, or it can be like to signify the end of something that's not so positive, such as, you know, saying goodbye to certain people, especially that's relevant to what's happened to a lot of us with graduation. But closure, I feel like is a natural thing that can't be avoided then they can be either positive or negative. I feel like it's very important to everyone's life because it plays a role in so many different situations. Hmm. If it can't be avoided, aren't there also ways that we can like find closure or create our own closure? See, like it's sort of paradoxical because like we sometimes we don't want closure in, but like naturally as humans, we seek closure. So it's so weird. Like obviously, there's a certain closure to having to say goodbye to everyone finishing high school and into this next phase of our lives. But at the same time, in other situations, we don't want that. To, we don't want that to happen here. But in other situations, we do want closure to happen. We want a sense of 
manifestation of all the work that we did into some final product, stuff like that. So yeah. I feel like it's it's very interesting. It's it's there's a certain duality to it. Yeah. But in the end it's just about endings, right? Yeah. I then it you can't it happens to everyone. You gotta experience closure in your life. Sometimes we get certain cathartic emotional responses to closure. I know I will in about twenty four hours, but you know, we're all going through it together. So keep that in mind for the, all the listeners out here. From the mind and body episode, Yusuf Sadat. So Yusuf, what is closure? Um, I guess to I could define closure as like a sense of satisfaction and like just knowing that you can leave something and be done with it and it'll be okay, I guess. As a virtual student this year, it was kind of hard to find closure with like my schooling experience because, you know, I wasn't in person. I didn't really see as many friends as I'd usually see. It just didn't feel like actual school, you know? So this past month, I've kind of like this all of like this graduation stuff and like moving to like university next year. It's kind of like rolled up on me so fast and I didn't feel like I could form that sense of closure but like I'm slowly starting to slowly starting to acquire that thankfully like after going to some events end of year events and stuff so how can you find that closure then I don't I don't really know finding closure is kind of hard I feel like it's just something you've got to uh search for you know like It'll or no, it'll just come to you, I guess. With with school, it's pretty linear because you just complete a few years of school and your closure is, you know, you getting your diploma and graduating and stuff like that. But for other things, I'm not quite sure yet, but hopefully I'll find out later in life. From the expression episode, Pluto Lewis. So, Pluto, um, what is closure? It's a satisfying end to things. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm going with. A satisfying, like, conclusion in which you don't need anything more. And you're ready to move on to, like, the next chapter, I guess. From the meaning episode, Hassan Syed. So, Hassan, what is closure? I think closure is a sense of completion. You know, I, in the meeting episode, we talked about working towards our goals and like having a sort of direction in life, right? Mm-hmm. Closure is that final goal. Like once you complete that goal, you sort of envision your entire uh, process leading up to that point. And when you look at when, when you look at the whole thing, like everything you've done up to that point, you sort of feel this sense of completion, like you feel whole in a sense. So I guess closure is really just acknowledging all that you've done leading up to a certain point and sort of just appreciating it and everything that's happened up to that point and everything you've accomplished, just feeling complete. From the Purpose and Conflict episode, Joseph Arietta. So, Joseph, what is closure? I'd say closure is the end of a feeling or emotion. It's not needing to worry or care or stress about something or someone anymore. No more of your brain capacity is dedicated to having a certain feeling in the back of your brain. No more, you know, nagging at the edges, trying to tell you that you should be pulled back into whatever is causing the emotion. It's like silence almost. Now, of course, there's other things going on in your brain, but once you get closure, you shouldn't have to feel anything about the topic that you're getting closure on. And I'd say that I have a fairly positive opinion of closure. It's nice to not have to worry about certain things anymore or, you know, need to have any more of your time or energy dedicated to suppressing the little voice in the back of your head that's saying to you, oh, well, you know, 
this thing is going on and you need to deal with it right now, constantly and all the time. And also with closure, you get the satisfaction of knowing that you've tied up a knot. Perhaps it's a long, complicated knot, you know, it takes a lot of training to get used to, but at least you've closed it off. So yeah, that's my, those are my uh, takes on closure and what it means to me and what it means to everybody else. From the role of music episode, Alex Ma. So Alex, what is closure? I think closure can mean a couple of different things. So you can be completely at rest with something and you never have to even seek closure. But if you need closure, for example, at like maybe the end of a relationship or you don't, I guess you don't really need it, but maybe you seek it. You want to know what went wrong or what happened, or maybe at the end of like, like uh, in your high school career, I'd say closure is an understanding of what happened and maybe even what you can do better next time. Yeah, if you get into a car crash, maybe you want to know who was driving, why they did it. If you are graduating, maybe you want to talk to the people you never got to talk to and tell them that you wanted to talk to them, never did. I think I think there's a couple of different ways of looking at closure then. Closure might not always happen, and if you seek it and you get what people might say is closure, you even with the understanding, you might still want more, I think. From the Comfort Zone episode, Govin Nadather. So, Govin, what is closure? So, to me, closure is sort of like the end of an era. Um, so, coming to the end of the school year, I think that you can feel satisfied with closure if you didn't miss out on opportunities. I think that closure is satisfying if you've reached your full potential and aren't um, wasting times on things that really don't make you grow. And I think it's important to uh, make the most out of like everything during the year. And if you do, then you'll be satisfied with closure. And if you don't, I think that it can be kind of overwhelming. But I think it's also important to look at all the opportunities we have in the future. From the power episode, I have with me Joseph Matthews. So Joseph, what is closure? So closure is being able to move on after someone dies or someone leaves. You have a traumatic experience and it's very hard to get over. And change, I might add. Everyone will always experience it in their lives. Like there's no way to get around it. Like people can try and hide it from you or you can go deep into denial and basically forget that you were a part of this, but it's not the way that human life works. So what you have to do to move on with your life depends upon people that you're with. Like you cannot just stay there alone and sink into this mental process. You have to keep talking to people. You have to keep going out and experiencing life. You can't just sink into this dark and depressed state. From the practice episode, Jordan Scott. So Jordan, what is closure? Closure to me is seeing something through to the end. Closure is something that you can that you can say like you've, you've finished something and now you've, you're done with it, but you, you'll always keep a part of it with you throughout the rest of your life. That's what I believe closure is. So with that, we now have a variety of perspectives. And I guess for me, closure is the perfect way to end something off right. So with that said, I'll see you guys next time and thanks for listening.